Our first speaker tonight has been remodeling old houses around Ann Arbor since the 1970s. He loves old houses and challenging projects. Please welcome Gil Stanford. I love old houses. I want to uh, get a turret for my house. I want a stone pillar turret is what I want. How many people want a, a turret in their house? Well, where do you, I went to buy one. Where do you buy one? I asked everybody. Nobody had one. My best um, tip I had was the do-it-yourself uh, book uh, rack at the big uh, box lumber what I found there was three books on how to raise chickens in your backyard, but none on turrets. I don't want to raise chickens. I want to be a chicken farmer. No offense to chicken farmers out there. I want a turret. What's the big secret about getting a turret for your house? I, I thought, heck, I'll design my own. I've got a pencil and paper and a compass. I can draw it up. I can buy straight lumber, build a round room. What could go wrong with a simple little project like that? <laughs> So I built a box, seven foot by seven foot, lined it with styrofoam and plaster and spun that tool around. It's an old world technique uh, to form uh, plaster moldings. The, uh, the tool will knock down the excess plaster, but we keep piling it on and creating a, a concrete mold. So when we took that, we filled that with tinted concrete and then stripped away all of that plaster and styrofoam. We wound up with two 9,000 pound architectural um, elements uh, for this um, uh, turret, a base and a capital to go on top. The, um, uh, took the excavator, hooked that onto one of the, the base and getting ready to set that onto the foundation and the whole excavator started tipping over. So we had to adjust that slightly and bring that back into, uh, into place. So we were successful in getting that placed so we had to have a little victory stance to, for our, our victory over gravity. After that, the next step was to lay about 4,000 pounds of split face stone to create the column. To do that, we had a piece of plywood on top with 12 uh, plumb bobs hanging down as a guide to lay that stone up. Once that stone got to the top, we were back to that pro pro process of the straight lumber and round room. When we were doing the floor, that worked out pretty good. We were figuring out how to do that. But once we started on the wall system, we were working on that wall system, and it just seemed that we were going around and around. <laughs> Finally, we got the walls up onto the floor system. After that, we had to build a roof. Now, this is the roof has got to shed water, right? But in this case, that roof had to be strong enough to be able to lift that whole uh, thing up uh, for our final set. So we added some metal uh, cross ties and extra strapping to hold it all together. Um, and then to sheathe the roof, you take flat uh, plywood and lay that on a flat roof. That'd be easy, right? <laughs> Not in this one. So after we got that done, the next thing we did, we had a crane come in and lift that 9,000 pound capital up and set that on top of the stone pillar. Once that got in place, set that in order, and then we went back and grabbed the, the wood framing and set that on top of the capital. So we've got the basic structure together. Now we've got to do the exterior trim. This is an eight foot circular room. So now I need circular trim pieces to go around the outside. So I used a plastic PVC type uh, product, heated it up and bent it to the proper radius, and that's how we made the trim panels to the outside. Some of the other uh, trim details are made out of plastic pipe, plastic moldings, and the buttons that you see here are plastic toilet bowl covers. <laughs> uh, you know, if you have a fancy turret, you've got to have a copper roof on it, right? So we cut out uh, custom um, copper and fabricated shingles. Those shingles are all made together so that they'll interlock with the shingle below and then interlock with the shingle above. That'll give a waterproof system uh, that'll last hundreds of years. But then you gotta have a fancy uh, finial on top. You can't buy those at the hardware store. We made ours out of two tire rims a bunch of land parts. <laughs> and then once you get done with that, we, we, we kind of put the final touches on. We did a uh, full finish of black marble on the base and the capital. We wanted to ensure that this turret looked completely different than all the other turrets in the rest of the world. <laughs> 
<laughs> so so I, I've learned the secrets about uh, turrets and why there's no books of three easy steps to getting your own turret. There's a few steps involved. Um, but I still think every house ought to have a turret. Who wants a turret out of their house? I've got paper and pencil. Let me get started. This is the easy part.